All right, we're on our way to Corey's house next. This this tank was amazing. It reminded me of an, a freshwater reef tank. The big one in the front there, his name is Andre. I don't know the term for that thing, Dennis, but he's not like, they didn't buy an albino. He started out uh, being black like the rest, but he's lost his pigment. That's right. And so he, um... There is my school of clown loaches, my favorite fish. No, no, this one I think is blind. The big one here that was neglected and rescued. And the big iridescent shark, or pangasius, there is about 22 inches or so. So this here is your advanced worm cone, I guess. Where did you get that advanced worm cone? Well, I happen to own a ton of them because I bought a bunch on Amazon. But went crazy. He didn't find them anywhere. And he's like, I got them. They're actually what you put in your bathroom to, you know, hang your toothbrush and everything. Oh, my God. And, and, and so not the plant sale, but in another sale, you're going to bring some. <laughs> we've got different sizes. What, like, oh and my you gosh. do cocktail shrimp. Oh, oh. Out of... Size are you and getting laziness, this with the, all the fish coming yeah. over the feed? Yeah, baby, you want to? That's too I was expensive. really impressed with that he would That's spoil his fish so much he would buy cooked cocktail <laughs> shrimp to feed them. <laughs> I have to say your fish eat better than my kids. It's true. They, they do eat a lot of food. I can dump it in there all day long, and they won't stop eating, especially... Dorkula, as we call her, the catfish, which is a giraffe cat. And else? And that's my soft shell turtle. They have a really long neck, so when they get close to the surface, they can perch on something and still have their head and breathe air. There's Dorkula. She's amazing. I love her. Yeah, I love her. You can tell when she's eating too much because she literally lays there almost on her side because her stomach is so full she can't move. Every once in a while, the turtle gets a little nippy, and he'll grab onto a tail and take a ride. He's a burrower. And how would you do a gravel vac on this? I actually don't at all, and that's why I have, there's lots of earth eaters, and there's the, the two big catfish, they're also earth eaters, so they, you watch when they eat, they're taking in a ton of sand when they eat, and then putting it through their gills, and all that comes up and eventually hits the overflow and leaves the system. Huh. And so, cause that's a 55 I gallon tank used as my sump. And has a continuous drip system, so there's always two gallons of water coming in per hour and leaving the system. Raise up more stuff. Raise up more I had actually floating for about a month. Wow. Yeah, we have, I a, am, yes. we have a problem with fish. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, and lots of multis and babies yeah, in these, here. We've got a bunch over here, and there's a bunch in the back. I fell in love with multis when I first saw them. They're just, I'm into a giant fish and really small fish. The females holding, that's their first brood. I've been, been bringing them up since about this big. The top left there, you can see a male with a female with her mouth bulging holding some babies. See, now they're starting to eat. <laughs> it takes them way longer because they're so scared. You can see some plants I got at the auction. Wow, very, cool. very nice. How cool. Look at the fry down there at the bottom. Yep. The more you close you get in there, you start seeing this. There's and the multis can be very small, and they still take bloodworms down twice as big as they are. That's, I really like the shell bed. This is really nice. This tank was actually the first tank I ever bought. That is, this is what it looks like. A common setup for this is usually a smaller 20 gallon or so, because these fish stay pretty small. But I like to see big colonies. Right in front of the door, so you can move any furniture in or out. Oh yeah, that's good. Because it's all right. Yeah. This tank is the most important piece of furniture. Those look like moon snails. Too small. Some of them, like this one does. Oh, or maybe that's a moon snail there. I'm sorry, that you your nose reset. Yeah, because it can get real cloudy in there, depending on how heavy I'm feeding. And what is that? Yeah, yeah I, I have that same problem. 
problem too. If I feed them well yesterday, then they'll be... One of the best things about this tank is you'll watch them go pick up a snail and move it away from their, their eggs or their fry. They see a baby snail as an intruder, and they'll make sure no snails get near them. Wow. There's, there's the nose of my, that was from the not getting enough food, <laughs> and he's wow. never grown out of it, and he looks like a Z now. Corey has to be careful whenever. My rubber lip pleco, he gets beat on every once in a while if he gets too close to some babies. You can see one down low is keeping him in check.